What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Spetzel Brewery in Shiner, Texas. This is Shiner Premium Beer. Uh, you may recall a few weeks ago I mentioned uh, picking up the the Spetzel variety pack, which they call the Shiner Family of Beers. Um, did one of the beers out of that uh, series, a special reserve lager, I believe it was, and uh, really wasn't too bad. But so, um, trying out another one of these. This is a uh, I was called the premium, the just premium beer, and uh, I will be frank. My expectations are not super high, but I am hoping to be a little bit surprised, and we'll find out about it together. Uh, but first, what the brewery has to say about this beer: this traditional premium golden lager is inspired by our original recipe from 1909. Still the local favorite, our distinctive blonde-style brew has a crisp taste that's slightly sweet and always refreshing. One sip will take you back and treat you right. The official beer of your great-granddad. 4.4% ABV, 13 IBU. Check out, check it out. <coughs> well, color-wise, I would say it's almost exactly what I expected. Uh... A little darker, frankly, but uh, the solid yellow color. I was kind of expecting a kind of a Bud Light pale yellow, but it does it a little bit better than that. I'm uh, just holding it up to the light. It's just uh, quite simply pretty yellow. And um, completely see-through. Virtually no head, very little carbonation coming up through the glass. But again, generally pretty close to what I was expecting. Let's check, let's try it out. It uh, tastes like beer. <laughs> I think it probably does a little bit better than your, uh, Standard mass-produced pale lagers, but plenty of uh, plenty of weedy, grainy notes. Generally, pretty pretty light overall. Uh, very crisp, very clean. I'm doing it uh, pretty cold, kind of in that that pale lager tradition. I give it a little bit of time in my my freezer um, so that it would be served cold. That's kind of the what they say with a lot of these types of beers. I doubt I'm uh, masking anything by uh, by serving it so cold, and I'm sure I'm sure it's it's not. There's nothing that will develop, or I'd imagine there's nothing that will develop as uh, as it warms. But yeah, just uh. Crisp, clean, pretty smooth. No, uh, no bite to it at all. A little bit of grain, a little, just a very, very mild sweetness. Um, not, not a bad, not a bad little beer, frankly. Um, just simple, straightforward. Tastes like beer, and sometimes you don't want, you know, chocolate and coffee and roast and smoke and you know caramel and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes you can go for just something basic, and that's what this is. And I think that's uh, very well executed for what they were going for. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. A little bit of a, a bonus edition, but with a pretty, uh, pretty simple beer. Pretty simple beer. I thought I'd do a little bit of a or do a uh, a bonus bonus edition, if you will. You can find all of our reviews, video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.